All right, guys, welcome back to the shed. We're gonna talk electronic ignition conversions today. Tractor in question is a 674020. This should be the same for pretty much ten, all 10 and 20 series, and maybe if you got like a 4030 gas, you probably are in the same boat too. If you got one of those, put it in the comments. Those are, that's kind of a rare bird. So, first things first, before you buy anything, you need to find out is your tractor positive or negative ground? Once you do that, you need to verify your coil is in the right way. If it's going to your points, the negative, if it's negative ground, the negative side of the coil should be going to the points. If it's positive ground, the positive side going to your points. You can flip your battery cables, have your coil wired technically backwards and it will still run. You just want to make sure you got things right. Pertronics is kind of the, the, the industry standard. I'm not going to talk about their install instructions. They're very nice. They're very simple. Just follow their instructions. They're, they're good. A monkey could put one of these kits in, and I do mean that. Don't be afraid of this. So, when you get your kit, you know you got the right stuff. Pop your distributor cap off. Take your rotor off. Nah, sorry, I'm not taking mine off. My screws are about to strip. You're going to take... The whole base plate everything two screws unscrew them take the whole assembly off you're gonna assemble your your new electronic ignition kit per their instructions read their instructions use their little plastic feeler blade pack everything up you need to notch out your distributor cap again they talk about this all right you have this all together there's one thing that we have to do as deer guys. We need to find out what voltage we had going to our coil. These tractors either have a resistance wire or a ballast resistor. It depends on your serial number break. Earlier ones have a ballast resistor. Somehow, however you want to do it, you need 12 volts to your coil for electronic ignition. In my case, I have a resistance wire being a 67. One wire comes from your starter, so you have full voltage while cranking. Just run a wire right off your key switch. Don't butt splice it like I did. Just go buy the one terminal you need. Make it clean. Less connections, the better. Do as I say, not as I do. This is simple. Just keep it simple. Run one wire. Tie it up so it won't chafe and, you know, burn your tractor down. You got your power to your coil. You have 12 volts. You're going to hook up your wiring per Pectronics install instructions. All right. So you have 12 volts to your coil. You have your kit installed. Great. The hardest part is now over. Start the tractor. Tractor's going to start. They're going to tell you that you don't need to check timing. I'm going to tell you it's best practice too. Your points gap can affect your timing. The newest one of these tractors is a 72. Somebody's monkeyed with them. This is your timing window. Pull it off. Roll it around. Find it. For all the gasoline tractors, it's 20 degrees before top dead center. You propane guys, one's 20 degrees, one's 25. And don't ask me. I'm sorry. I'm not a propane guy. Look it up. I, I don't know, but... Gassers is 20 degrees. One of the propanes is 20 degrees. Like early, late. There's like one of the propane guys, you're on your own. Sorry. If you don't have a timing light and you don't know what to do, either find your old tractor buddy that has one or find the guy with the stock car down the road. Give him a couple beers, have him time it. Reason why I say time it is one, you changed, you monkeyed with your ignition. It's best practice. Two, you don't know if it was right ahead of time. That's how far off I had my timing was. I know not all that was my ignition kit, but that's going to kill your horsepower and change the, change how it's going to start. There's no reason to run points anymore. Points are not cheap. The last I put a set of points and condenser on this, and it was like 65 bucks. That kit's like 150 The other thing I'm going to touch on coil 
Petronix is going to want to sell you your super, their super mega hot burn the world down coil. And I can tell you that one of my instructors in college who is converting these over at the dealer a lot, he even told me, he goes, oh, screw that. Petronix just got on the tractor websites and planted the seed to sell more coils. I was just running 12 volts to the 6 volt coil, throwing the kit in, and it was fine. Your mileage may differ. I ironically needed to buy a coil for something else. I just took my other coil, but I bought the high intensity burn the world down coil. Do as you see fit. They also say you can open up your spark plugs more. I didn't, and my tractor is very happy. This is the best upgrade you'll ever make on one of these tractors. It's a more consistent spark. It's a hotter spark. Only pick I have is now you're going to have to relearn your, you know, oh, put the throttle here, pull the choke out this much to get start. That's going to change, but otherwise, ditch the points. So, if you got questions, put them in the comments. I know this isn't the greatest video in the world, but I want to put something pointed for the title, so to help everybody out. So, all right. Thank you, guys.